Hi, Linda Goodall here. Just what are those feed dogs and what do they do? That's what we're going to talk about next. So the feed teeth are these little guys right here. The little metal serrated ridged kind of things and we call them feed dogs, feed teeth. I don't know why they're called feed dogs but what they do is they feed the fabric through the machine. So that's what's controlling your fabric. You don't need to be pushing it or pulling it. And let me just turn the hand wheel so that you can see how they work. You can see how they move forward, then up and back, and then kind of in a circular motion. So that they're pulling the fabric through the machine as the needle goes up and down in the stitches form. So if you're pushing your fabric in there, you can flex the needle, you can break the needle, you could damage your fabric, you could cause puckers, and you know, you, you just don't need to do that. So if your machine is not feeding the fabric, there's some other thing you need to look at. So while most sewing is done with the feed dogs up, there are some tasks like darning, I don't know really who does that anymore, and free motion embroidery or free motion quilting, and sewing on buttons with your machine that require the feed dogs to be lowered so they're not pulling the fabric. So to do that, there's a little button and it's right on the back of your machine, right behind the needle, and it's kind of hard to move, so let's see if I can do it. And it just snaps over and you can see now that the feed dogs are lowered and they won't have any action whatsoever. And to put them back up, you just push the button in the other direction. So let me show you that button from the back. So on the back of the machine, the button for dropping the feed dogs is right there. And you probably can't see it, but there are two little indicators here. And this one has two triangles to represent the serrations and a line through the middle. So the feed dogs would be up. This one has two little triangles with a line across the top. So that would be that they're down. So to bring it back into the normal position, we'll just pull that button to the right. Now, if you ever need to sew with the feed dogs down, I recommend that when you're done, you put the feed dogs back up because if you go to sew something normally, three months later, your machine is not going to be sewing right. It's just not going to feed the fabric and you'll just be nuts trying to figure out what it is. So always put the feed dogs back up. Also when we do embroidery, machine embroidery, when we put the unit on, it will push that into the lowered position because we would want it lowered for hoop embroidery and when you take it off it will automatically put it back. So we don't have to worry about that for machine embroidery. And that's pretty much it for the feed teeth.